today in this particular video i am going to discuss another very important application of edge detection okay so already in my previous video i have discussed fundamental concept about edge detection and one of the very popular application of edge detection also we have covered that is basically for segmenting image edge detection is often useful right you can check the links in the description box to understand those concepts in detail okay so here i am going to discuss another application that is separating overlapping objects okay and that way how we can take correct decision using edge detection that's what i am going to discuss okay so just you observe this particular image suppose you are having this one and you are asked that how many distinct objects are there in this particular image okay what will be your answer 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 right six distinct objects are there so answer is six okay now you just think what we should apply to get the total number of distinct objects or isolated islands so for that what we do this is in color format image that is rgb image from there we convert that to grayscale and from that we convert that to binary and if you see this binary image here we basically apply pw label to get the number of distinct objects right now because this particular rectangle and this particular square are overlapped on each other that's why in the binary form they are coming as a single object right and now if you apply bw label on this what you will be getting one two three four five so you will be getting five distinct objects but actually there are how many distinct objects six right due to overlapping objects the confusion is appearing right now we have to sort out this issue so for that what we will do we will not directly apply bw label on this particular image rather what we will do we will compute the edges for this particular image okay so if you compute edges for this particular image you will be getting this kind of shape beautifully edge detection will be working because here in between foreground and background there is sufficient difference is present so edge detection will be almost very clean okay now you see here these borders are there right here those are not present right so what we can do if we do xor of this particular image and this particular image what will happen in this region okay where edges are coming here also that part is white so both are one basically if in xor both are one so that outcome will be zero right so if you apply xor between this image and this image you will be getting this image right and here you see in between rectangle and this square there is a perfect boundary line coming right and that's the beauty now if you apply bw level on this one you will be getting one two three four five six because in between rectangle and the square due to application of extra operation between this edge detected image and actual binary image what we got we got this particular boundary line which is helping us and this is the way you can take proper decision on distinct objects if they are overlapping okay so edge detection in this case is coming out as a very helpful tool right and now let's see the programming side it is very simple just we have to give the algorithm a programming shape right so first what i am doing i am basically applying clc clear all close all as we generally do if you want you can write warning off also and then here i am reading the image and then i am showing that image that's all i am doing okay so let's execute that right so here you can see this is our original image now what we will do as a first step we will be converting this one to binary image okay so rgb to grayscale first we have to do so for that grayscale image gi is nothing but rgb to gray function i am using to convert that to grayscale image and then i am displaying that so let's do that okay in a new figure window so here you can see in a new figure window we are getting this particular grayscale image okay now here i have used im pixel info function to basically get the pixel information of the images okay see as i move the mouse pointer here you can see the pixel info right x and y coordinate and the intensity okay so now what we need to do we need to choose a proper threshold value so that the foreground and background will be easily separated okay now you see here our foreground is dark color background is white color right if i move my mouse pointer across background here you will see it is almost 255 that is white pixel so what we can do to extract only this foreground object our object of interest we can take only those pixels which is having value less than 255 
that way only those pixels which will be following this condition those will become one rest all will become zero and that's how our this foreground which is currently completely white those will become completely black color because they are all 255 so they will not follow this particular condition and they will turn off okay whereas our all these darker objects is having pixel intensity less than 255 so they are satisfying the condition so for those pixels the outcome will be one and that way those will become bright okay so here what i can do i can execute this particular part to display the uh, binary image okay and here we are getting beautifully the binary image okay now let's apply bw label and let's print the number of distinct objects okay so i am applying bw label on this image and if i go to command window here you will see that display of b is giving five that means it is saying that in this particular binary image total five distinct objects are present one two three four five right but that is wrong actually six are there but due to overlapping this confusion is appearing so for that what i told you first we will apply edge detection on which image we will be applying edge detection that is basically our grayscale image that is our on this particular image we will be applying edge detection and any edge detection we will apply because it is little bit advanced it apply lot of operations in the back end not only simple gradient based approach it follow right and you can understand easily on this grayscale image edge detection is not a very difficult job because here in between foreground and background very good amount of uh, difference intensity difference is present right so here what we are doing we are detecting the edges and we are displaying that perfect okay so let's do that so if we display here we are getting this kind of image it is almost correct but here a little problem is there if you just observe this particular place if i just zoom this particular part little bit here you will see that here gap is there okay and that is basically making a problem not only that here also you will see a small gap is there these are these places are not connected right so what we have to do to connect or close these gaps we will apply im close operation so that's what i am applying here edges equal to im close okay and then detected edges i am passing and i am taking a structuring element of disk say very small radius that is three okay and then i am applying morphological closing operation on the edge detected image to close those gaps okay and see now the gaps are perfectly close now what we are doing what i have told you once we get this particular one we already have this one now to apply that boundary on this one what we will do we will basically do bit xor right xor operation because both are one and we want to make the boundaries at zero so that's why what we are doing here we are basically uh, applying xor because in xor if both are one or both are zero output is nothing but zero if one is zero another one is one then only output is one so if you see if you consider any object maybe this circular object if you consider the inner side is one and for this circular object inner side is zero that's why in the output you will be getting one okay that's how bit xor works right so here you see in the code what i did bit xor of our binary image that is basically this particular image and the edge detected image okay after morphological closing whatever we got and then after doing bit xor to remove all these small small regions i am applying bw area open also to make the image clean okay so only those particular uh, objects will be coming up which is having pixel more than 50 okay there is, this is just for a, for a filtering purpose that's all okay and then i am showing that image and then at the end what i am doing i am basically applying bw level on this particular image with 8 connectivity okay so let's do this particular stuff and what i will do already i think i have executed edges part yes edges part is done so i will just execute bw area open and bw level part so if i execute that now here you will see that this particular image is generated and you see here in between this particular rectangle and this particular square a perfect separation is present right so this particular rectangle and this square will be treated as different islands while computing the distinct objects right and that way one two three four five six will be getting six as outcome after applying bw level and see here we are getting six only right and that's the beauty of edge detection that is you can use the edge detection concept along with bw level to get the proper idea of total count of distinct islands if your objects are overlapping okay 
So this is another very popular interview question also frequently asked in the computer vision related domain. So this is all I wanted to cover. The image and the code I will be providing in the description box or in the comment section. If you want you can go through that. This is all for my this video. If you find this video helpful then please like, share and comment. Subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed till now. And don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos. Thank you.